Hello and welcome to this edition of China Daily Big Talk. I'm Li Hanqing, Beijing. Nowadays, overseas study is becoming a hot topic, and many parents are considering sending their children to study abroad. Today, we have two guests from Education USA China to discuss it with us. They are Dr. Laurie Masinga, Director of Education USA Mainland China, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, and Mongolia. Welcome. Thank you. And Mr. Yang Jiawei, Program Manager of Education USA China. Welcome. Thank you. So, according to the latest annual Open Doors report, the number of Chinese students studying and living in the U.S. has increased from 98,000 in 2009 to 127,000 in 2010, increasing by almost 30 percent. So far, China has replaced India as the largest source of international students to the U.S. So, my question is, Doctor, do you think China will continue to hold this title in the following years, and what are the main reasons behind this situation? I think it's impossible to say with any certainty whether the trend will continue. But we at Education USA think that it will. The reason why is because we think that、uh, Chinese students and their parents have greater awareness about the many opportunities for study in the U.S.、Uh, through community colleges,、uh, through.、Uh, Liberal arts schools through、uh, large public institutions, as well as an increased interest in、uh, high school students. We also think that U.S. higher education institutions are increasingly interested in Chinese students and have increased their、uh, their recruiting efforts in China. They're making a greater effort to have promotional materials in Chinese so that they're readily、uh, available to Chinese parents so that they can read them. Their websites are in. Increasingly,、uh, including ch-、uh, content in Chinese as well. So I think that、uh, overall, U.S. the U.S. has been a popular destination for Chinese students. But、uh, through our efforts, we hope at Education USA that we can continue to get the good word out. We exist for two reasons. One is to provide students and parents with the information that they need in order to. Help students make a good decision about studying in the U.S. We also exist to help U.S. higher education institutions understand China,、uh, Chinese students'、uh, interests, and unique needs of Chinese students. So, if we're doing our job well at Education USA, we expect the trend to continue. Okay, more and more Chinese students are now studying in the U.S. at a very young age. So.、Mm-hmm. What do you think is a proper time, a proper age for a student to study and live in the U.S.? And what should the undergraduate applicant pay attention to during his、uh, application process? And how does that differ from a graduate applicant?、Mm. We actually talked about this question before、uh, because we get this question a lot. Of course, parents want to know,、uh, you know, what's a good age for my child to study? Particularly since parents are looking、uh, at young, sending their children、uh, at a younger and younger age. There are many opportunities. Of course, there are. Uh, high school boarding schools for、uh, international students, but in addition to those, there are short-term opportunities such as summer camps, language camps, and we think that these are good preparations for、uh, for Chinese students so that they can get an idea of what it's like to be in the U.S.、Uh, and we think this is good preparation for their undergraduate education. We have seen、uh, many Chinese high school students. They are so busy with、uh, studying SAT.、Uh, while they are studying their regular high school courses, they still have to work very hard to go to the training school to study SAT. So that's really an extra burden for them. Actually,、uh, there is, we think there is a misunderstanding among the Chinese high school students and their parents.、Uh, if you want to go to a top U.S.、Uh, universities, you must have a, a high score of SAT. Actually, this is kind of a misunderstanding.、Uh, in the U.S., there are so many very good undergraduate programs.、Uh, if you want to、uh, go to that university to study that program, you re- really don't need、uh, SAT. So,、uh, if you contact Education USA our office, we could provide a list of that kind of universities. Okay. Last week, my colleague interviewed some students and parents on the sixth year's China International Education Exhibition Tour and asked them if they would prefer look for help from the agencies to help them with their application process, or they would prefer to apply on their own. Well, some students、uh, say that they will 
look for the help from the agencies because they think that application takes too much time and effort.、Mm. And while others are holding a different opinion, they think that、uh, applying on their own can better themselves, and、uh, they can learn a lot from doing it. So, what's your opinion? I think that we we share a common opinion. One of the、uh, values that Education USA tries to、uh, instill upon students, all all students, international students, Chinese students, is a do-it-yourself value. The reason why、uh, we advance this do-it-yourself value is because there's nobody in the U.S. that's going to do a Chinese student's homework for him or her. Right, so starting to do things themselves now is really good practice for their ongoing success. We、uh, we know that relationships are really important, and that one of the reasons why Chinese students or any students turn to agents is because of a feeling that、uh, not just that they're busy, but that the agent has a particular relationship with. A school,、yeah. or or many schools, we at Education USA are fortunate because we're the only official, trusted source of information on studying in the U.S. We have a relationship with all four thousand four hundred something、um, universities, colleges, and universities in the U.S. We would never say to a Chinese parent or student, "You should go to this school." What we will do, however, is something better. We'll say to them, "Here are the tools that you need." Here's what what you need in order to write your own good letter of application. Here's what you need to do to get your own good references. Here's how to do your own research, and then come talk to us. So once we provide these tools, we invite students talk to us, and we'll help you with your decision making. But we we really do believe that this is a parent and student choice. So listen to uh, uh, Doctor. Lord Mazinga's、uh, comments. I want to add: if、uh, the Chinese school、uh, students they can do it on their own, it really can develop their、uh, independence and their own project. And also, after they complete the whole application process, they will have a sense of、uh, accomplishment. So that will be very helpful for them to be、uh, to be encourage themselves to be success in their future、uh, career. It is reported that more and more American schools will open to Chinese students in the future, including the public schools, state universities, and community colleges, and they will enter the Chinese market with more favorable tuition fees. So, what's the difference between those schools, and what should the students、yes. know?、Um, one、them? of the things that Education USA does is、uh, we correct misunderstandings among Chinese students and their parents. One misunderstanding is that. There are only a limited number of schools to which Chinese students can go now. We in the U.S. don't have a quota system at all, so it's not exactly true that more st- more schools are opening their doors because、oh, they've it's not, it's no, not true. They've always been open,、yeah. and they'll continue to be open.、Uh-huh. And so, one of the things that Education USA likes to do is to correct this misunderstanding. Uh, Yang Jiawei and I can both talk about the differences in schools, but、um, I, I don't even know about the more favorable tuition part because I think that there、um, there are always opportunities for financial assistance if a student needs needs financial assistance.、Um, typically,、uh, s- you mentioned.、Uh, State schools or public schools? Yeah, public, public sc- schools,、right. state universities, and、right. community colleges. Public schools, state universities receive、uh, public funding.、Uh, community colleges are generally considered a favorable choice because they're two-year institutions, and often the tuition is somewhat lower. While you can get、uh, an associate's degree from a community college, often. Students will use a community co- their community college experience as a springboard to go to a four-year institution and then even on to graduate school. And some schools have、uh, some universities have、uh, and colleges have a relationship with、uh, community colleges so that that transition to a four-year institution is seamless.、Um, in, in terms of the tuition, I I think that. Uh, what students should do is contact us and let us know what's、uh, you know we let us know if they have a particular need. I think that one misunderstanding is that school in the U.S. is is not affordable. Some think that it's only for、uh, the opportunities only exist for Chinese students with. Full funding to go, and that's not the case. There are many financial opportunities for students, and we can help them pursue that. 
Is that right? Yeah. So I would like to uh, use this opportunity to correct uh, a misunderstanding among the Chinese students. So uh, actually, the community college, uh, they are wonderful uh, educational resources, but uh, it's, it's really not well known in China. So when Education USA, when in our work, when we introduce these kind of uh, opportunities to the Chinese students, uh, they all hesitate, the Chinese students all hesitate to consider to go there because the reason why, because they think, oh, if I study there, I can only get a associate degree. Associate degree, they interpret so associate degree into Da uh -huh. in Chinese. Yeah. Actually, of course, if I spend a such amount of money and uh, spend, uh, make a great effort and spend uh, a lot of energy to study in the U.S. and only get a associate degree, a Da Zhuan degree, of course, it's not worthwhile. I, Everybody can understand this, but actually this is misunderstanding because associate degree in you earn at the community college is not really equivalent to that one. It is a kind of it's kind of a step stone for you to go to uh, four year universities. So this is a misunderstanding I would like to clarify for the Chinese uh, students and their parents. So are there any new policies that the U.S. government will provide for the international students in 2011? And shall we expect something different in studying the U.S. in 2011? I don't think there are any new policies. I think that um, another misunderstanding that Chinese students and their families have is that the U.S. government sets all education policies. Many policies are set by at the state level or by institutions themselves. And as I mentioned earlier, the doors have always been wide open to all international students and Chinese students. What can we expect in the future? I think my colleague Yang Zhao and I can both expect, uh, would both say that we expect uh, just increased interest among Chinese students and their parents. And what we hope is that we can, we're able to get the word out about Education USA, the services that we offer, uh, online and mobile advising to students and their parents. And most importantly, our services are free. Oh, it's free? Yes. Okay, so it is late March right now, mm -hmm. so uh, many applicants have already got several offers in hand by now. Yes. So how to choose the best school or the mm -hmm. suitable one for them? Mm -hmm. Good question. I think that uh, this is always a tough decision. And first of all, I'd like to just extend a congratulations to all students and, and their families who already have offers in hand. I think that uh, getting back to one of the things that Education USA promotes is we believe that there's not one school or one or two schools that are right for students. We believe that that with our 4,000 plus colleges and universities in the U.S., there's a school that's right for each student. So uh, one of the things that our program managers do, does is that we help uh, Chinese students figure out, okay, if the program is suitable, that's one thing. Is the, geogra is the geographic location uh. suitable? Um, are there extracurricular activities that are suitable? So there are many factors to take into consideration, and perhaps Yang Jiawei would like to talk a little bit about how the program managers help students make those decisions. Yeah, I think first, uh, uh, first uh, an expect the student has to consider is if this uh, university is accredited. So if the, they have this kind of question, if they cannot figure out, so they can contact Education USA, the program manager, will help them to uh, search the information of that university mm -hmm. for the students. And secondly, uh, they should uh, choose the program which fit for them. Actually, uh, the char characteristic of, Chinese, of, uh, of U.S. higher education is the, var the variety. Even the same program, for example, economic, economic in the, uh, the same program, in different universities, they have a different uh, characteristics. Some universities focus on uh, theory. Some of, of them, they focus on practical things. And some of them, they even uh, pro uh, focus on interdiscipline. So uh, the, the student has to really uh, take, a good, uh, take a close look at the program uh, through, maybe through the university website to see what uh, under this program or within this program, what kind of program, what kind of courses they will teach and also what kind of professors they have. So this is very uh, critical for the uh, US, for the Chinese student to consider a student, to consider a university. And also, 
they have to, con uh, to consider if the university provide financial aid because uh, this is a big problem, I mean, a big consideration for the Chinese students. Uh, and also, uh, they ha can also consider the campus life. So if, uh, if they are interested in kind of uh, sports, so if this uh, university provide a, a lot of uh, uh, sports activities, and also for ex some, univers some students, they also uh, consider, they should also consider the climate, because some universities, they come from southern part of China. So if you send to a very, I mean, cold weather place, so they will feel very comfortable. And also, they, they have to consider the student service. So different universities, they provide different uh, student service. So if you really rely on some service provided by the university, you should uh, go to the university which they can provide the service you need. Actually, there are s several other uh, things they should consider. So if uh, they can contact Education USA, we can give them uh, the advice. Okay, the last question. For the students who are going to study uh, and live in the U.S., any suggestions for them? And are you going to uh, give any lectures regarding living and studying in the U.S.? We are so glad that you asked that question. Yes, do you want to talk about our pre-departure yes. orientations? Yes, I think pre-departure orientation is very important, even for the idols, I mean. not, not, uh, sure. not, not even it's also uh, especially important for the young kids, for for the high sc uh, high school students, so because uh, although they can check the website and check the information on maybe on their website and uh, and uh, uh, get a kind of lecture from the uh, teachers, they still have a lot of things they don't know. So uh, at Education USA, we can organize a pre-divided orientation because uh, of. In addition to the lectures, I mean, the Education USA uh, program managers can provide. We can also collaborate with our colleagues at embassy because uh, we have many different uh, uh, state government sponsored exchange programs. So we have many resources. For example, we have uh, US Fulbright lectures. We can invite them to come here to talk to the student and uh, to introduce what the US classroom looks like and how you you should interact with the professors, and what's the campus life uh, look like in the U.S. And uh, we can also uh, give them some uh, materials before they go to the U.S. I think that uh, one of the things that's exciting for us about pre-departure training, as Yang Jiawei said, what we hope to do is have sort of a, a simulated American classroom. So part of the curriculum of the pre-departure training will be to give Chinese students and their parents a chance to really experience being taught American style. Um, students usually want to know, okay, what am I going to find to eat? What am I going to do? What if I'm homesick? So we're any and all concerns that students have, we're going to address in our pre-departure trainings. Okay, thanks for coming. Thanks and for having th us. And thanks for staying with us. That wraps up this edition of China Daily Big Talk. I'm Li Hanqing in Beijing. See you.